Will Hedgecock. Yes! yes. 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 Hedgecock. My father's name is Dick. <laughs> my name is Willie. And I'll likely be naming my son Peter. I'll just skip that and name him Penis. Because there's one thing you should know about the Hedgecocks. We don't beat around the bush. <laughs> uh, I live with three women, and uh, they get they get pretty pissed at me sometimes. Cause you know, Monday nights I'll settle down. I got a bowl of popcorn, I got the TV on, I'm wearing my football jersey, and I'm watching. You know, get really into it, and I start yelling at the TV. The mountain is right there, Dora. <laughs> I will say that once. <laughs> when Nick at night comes on, I have to watch all these shows about ethnic people, and I wonder, why isn't there a show about the wacky misadventures of an upper-middle-class white male? <laughs> I do some pretty crazy things. Um, <sighs> the other day, I'm, I was at the grocery store, and I was behind this woman, and she dropped her orange. And I said... <laughs> I said... Smooth move, X Labs. It gets me. Um, so uh, apparently, I don't have the best hearing. Um, but I was in the back of my friend's car. His dad was driving, and uh, he said, "Did you know that Amy Winehouse died?" And I heard, "Did you know that a baby at the White House died?" <laughs> okay. This can go one of two ways. Obama has a secret baby I don't know about. Or there was a family touring the White House and the infant was considered a lethal threat to the president. But either way, the only reaction you can think of is... Oh! <laughs> I don't know if you've ever been... You can, you've been talking to someone, but you can only say what twice is my theory. Like, if your mom's yelling at you about something, she's like, no, no, no. What? <laughs> Here's where the road splits. Now you can either say, oh, okay, or you can say, what? <laughs> and the first road leads to, you know, perfectly normal day, no problems. The second road leads to, it doesn't matter. It's not important. I'll just go on the other road. <laughs> um, I don't know if you've ever answered a question before you realized what the question was, <laughs> and it's the completely wrong answer. <laughs> like, this girl asked me the other day if I had seen her sister, and I said, oh yeah. <laughs> she is. Right behind you, look! <laughs> <laughs> um, I like to pretend I'm a lot smarter than I am, hence the glasses. Um, but sometimes I'll be talking to someone and realize immediately this guy's a lot smarter than me. So I'll say the very first smart thing that pops into my head, like, you know, in the criminal justice system, people are represented by two separate critically important groups, the district attorneys who investigate crimes, and the, uh, the uh, district attorneys who prosecute the offenders. <laughs> These are their stories. <laughs> Jump, jump. <laughs> I learned something the other day. You know this little pocket? The little pocket within the pocket? Right here. I learned that this is for condoms. And I was under the impression that it was for one quarter. <laughs> like the pants people don't trust us with money. You're like, look, you have this little pocket in here, and you can put change in it, but not too much. <laughs> But girls get purses. And you know, I have nowhere to put my lip gloss or my little dog. <laughs> um, my stepmom has roughly 5,000 purses. And you know, her and my dad will be arguing over which car to take, and she'll be like, I'll just get my keys or my purse.
I was at a restaurant the other day, and I absolutely cannot stand it when the waitstaff gets too friendly. Like, you get there, and immediately it's like, hey guys, well, he's up on the gas there, Mustang Sally. Let's keep this professional. You will refer to me as Professor Sexy. And they introduced themselves, and I feel like I'm in a support group. Hi, my name is Shelly. Hi, Shelly. And I'll be your waitress this evening. I don't know why I need their name. Like, I'm going to see them at a club later and be like, So how are you guys doing? Well, Shelly, guess we're not going to have any boundaries. I've got crabs, and they itch like hell. How are you? I don't know if you've ever seen someone choking in a restaurant. Your first instinct is, oh my god, I have to do the Heimlich. Your second instinct is, well, if someone else gets up to do the Heimlich, and I do it at the same time, that'll be embarrassing. So I'll just wait. <laughs> is, is, is anybody are you gonna I don't do you wanna I don't know if I can't I don't wanna get in your way. What's your Should we call someone? <laughs> he he saved it to me. <laughs> I, I have choked before. Uh, I was sitting next to my uncle, he was watching a movie, and um, I was eating cheesecake, which is very dangerous, never do it. <laughs> um, and I started choking, and I was like, well, I don't want to bother him, because uh, it's the climax of the movie. So I just sort of handled it over here. Because I thought that if I told him I was choking, he'd be like, oh my god, <laughs> what? <laughs> You, if someone chokes, you better hope they don't die. You know why? Because funerals suck. They are the saddest places you can be. And the only thing worse than a funeral is a funeral reception, especially if you're related to the person who died. Because I guarantee you, at least one person will walk up to you and say, Hey, Will, how you doing? <laughs> Super. <laughs> so peachy I could vomit. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the party clears out, and you know, there's just one or two people left, and they won't go away. And, you know, they walk up to you, they're like, well, she was a very special lady, you know, I'm sorry for the pause. Well, Dave, uh, if she were here, I know she would want you to get the hell out. <laughs> <laughs> just never, ever talk to me again. And it's, it's, it's a little press, but it would be a lot to <laughs> On a completely different note, I think I'd be a terrible kidnapper because I'm bad on the phone. <laughs> Mrs. Smith? Yes. Yes, hi, this is Will Hedgecock. <laughs> yes, good to hear from you. Uh huh. Well, uh, we have your dog. No. Oh, wait, I'll, I'll, I'll call back when it's starting the commercial break. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> and just like the little nuances of it, like, no. No, she's not tied up. Yeah, she's a Taco Bell. She's getting us lunch. Mm -hmm. Oh, we gave her gas money. Uh, ransom. Uh, ooh, ooh. What do you think? Ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, seven. <laughs> what? Really? Well, she can validate our parking. <laughs> um, uh, I recently got my eagle. Whatever. I mean, it's not a contest, but if it were, I'd be winning. Um, and scouts is just not something you talk about at school. But of course, there's always the one mother. Whenever she's walking by or driving by, will we not go, Hey, Will! Are you going to the scout thing, the jamboree this weekend? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yes, this is marching. <laughs> and other, other students try to hide the fact that they're doing drug deals. We pretend we're doing drug deals to hide the fact that we're in scouts. <laughs> 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 Nancy, our meeting? Monday, 6.30. Talk to Diego. <laughs> I went to Philmont uh, last summer. You may have heard about it, you may have heard it's a Boy Scout ranch, that is a lie. It is a Man Scout ranch. <laughs> um, and you're hiking along, and it's beautiful, beautiful scenery, but you're men, so you can't get all poetic about it. You gotta be like, oh, look at that view. I tagged that. <laughs> So as one guy behind you is like, that mountain looks like a boo. <laughs> That's the last 12, right? <laughs> There's two of them together. <laughs> it's, it's not nearly as funny as we think it is. <laughs> um, at Philmont, apparently there are bears. <laughs> Allegedly. I never saw one, because I think they lead secret lives and you know nothing about and we're going to go outside and see two bears dueling with musketeer hats, like... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that should happen. <laughs> and uh, if anything is a smellable, you got to tie it up in a bear bag, way up high so the bear can't reach it. You know, if you can smell anything, they're going to go for it. And uh, one person asked if marijuana was a smell. <laughs> As if we're going to go outside the next morning and see two bears in the middle of the campsite, like, dude, I am so hungry. <laughs> we could eat those kids. <laughs> we could do it in like a minute. <laughs> if you see a bear, you're supposed to do a crazy little dance and yell, go away, bear. <laughs> <laughs> like that bear's gonna see the little dance and go, Jerry, this kid says we should go away. <laughs> Two bears, 600 pounds, 150 pounds. I can take him. <laughs> Hissing bear. Um, <laughs> we went horseback riding at Philmont. If anyone ever asked you to go horseback riding, don't do it. Though it's just an hour or so. <laughs> I'm gonna stop at a Wendy's or... <laughs> They were passing it on the horses, giving the names, and they're like, Will, this is Dolly, she's the prettiest. Uh, Dylan, this is White Lightning, she's the fastest. Chase, this is Hercules, he's the strongest. And uh, Josh, this is Lumpy. Lumpy <laughs> <laughs> is a very special horse. We were, you know, not quite galloping along the trail. And uh, Lumpy's scratching his head against a tree. And um, one of the horses at the front starts galloping off and dragging the kid behind him. It's kind of awesome. Um, but you know, all the other horses were like, sort of uneasy. And Lumpy was just like, did I poop in the same corner twice yesterday? <laughs> Thank you, I'm Will Hedgecock.
I might later. Hey, I think I saw you in the Golden Pond the other day. I did see you. I was yeah. going to say something, but you were, you were engaged with something. Yeah, I was jumping through my butt trying to get uh, words to do open stage over Crystal Pistol. Because yeah. last time I was down there, it was like one of those last things I remember. You know, they don't have mic cords for shit. <laughs> you know, so I'm like, hey, where can I get some? Else? So I just grabbed those yeah. up and took off. So. But I hope it didn't seem rude. Oh, no, no, but of course, you didn't say anything to me. I, I was going to talk to you. No, that's okay. I, uh, I feel like we need to stay in the I'll put the video up. I don't know if you know about uh, what we do. I, um, what site do we go on?